Hey, welcome to the infamous diary of an unknown startup founder, yours truly. Since April the 3rd, 2024, I've been filming myself daily for about a minute, documenting the progress we make, the team and I, into building the future of social networks. In this video, you'll see what's been happening during week 11. Enjoy the show. Previously on Startup. We almost had a heart attack when we discovered that we owed $48,000 to the state of Delaware for our yearly franchise tax. Some pretty good progress considering the limited resources we have. We've been quietly building the next generation of social networks for the past two years and a half that will put people at the center of everything we do. Overthinking? Right. It helps clear your mind. Uninspired? Read. It will give you new ideas. Identify your why. Why is it important that you do so? Make it so important that you can't ignore it. For me, I have to do it because I'm the CEO of a small startup and that is just something I gotta do. Adaptability is probably the most important skill you can master. I know it's not really taught in universities and business school, but it's just so important. I've lived in China, Japan, the US, and the Europe, and adaptability is absolutely key, especially as an entrepreneur. The following happens between June 12th and June 18th, 2024. This is day 71 of not caring at all about going viral. I'm using these videos to record our progress as a time capsule as we build this new social network. Today, we continue to tackle the challenge that we have about integrating music into the videos you upload because there are copyrights. After doing some research, we concluded that going directly with music labels is not the way to go. It's going to be way too costly and complicated, especially since we're paying everything ourselves right now. One option that we're looking into is for you not to upload any videos with music on it and instead choose from some open source library that we will have. This is also going to allow us to promote new artists and establish a new set of rules that will benefit them. This approach is pretty simple and makes everything legal, which is great for us, and it's going to be a great way for new artists to get known as well. No, the internet is not getting more toxic. Social media is liberating, right? It's so good and it's gotten better and better over the past 20 years, right? I mean, obviously. Yeah, that's probably also why people are choosing to buy a Stone Age phone, just because setting up limits on their apps is not enough anymore. They have to have a phone that has no social media on it because everything is so good and so nice, right? I mean, like, sure, I, I think that's it, right? I mean, like, I can't be wrong. This is day 73 of not caring at all about going viral. There's something I've always wanted to do while we're building this new social platform. I've always wanted to give young artists a better chance at getting seen. I've done exactly that for a young fashion designer in a previous startup. But now with the new social platform that we're building, we have a chance to get that even bigger. You know how Google's homepage has a logo that changes now and then? We're gonna take that concept and apply it in different places within the app where we have covers that change. But I also understand that the art that we're going to be displaying is maybe not your taste. That's why we're going to allow you to change all these covers and all the art within the app the way you want. Because we're putting people at the center of everything we do within this app. If this is something that you like to be part of, whether you're an artist or just somebody who wants to make the world a better place, you should join us. We'd love to have you alongside us as we build this future together. This is day 74 of not caring about going viral. And neither should you. You've probably heard about this guy and this guy saying that content is king and you have to post every day, three times a day on every platform. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube long, YouTube short, Snapchat, LinkedIn, I probably forget a few. And you have to make your content different from all the platform because they have different styles. And honestly, if you don't have a team, 
this is highly unrealistic. I've been posting for the past 73 days daily. And honestly, I'm struggling to do that every day. And I'm not doing anything crazy, right? I'm documenting my journey. And so far, I have 86 followers on TikTok, 28 on Instagram, and 240 on YouTube. I think our expectations are set way too high. So at the end of the day, I'd say, do include it in your strategy, but don't stress about it. Take it easy, do what you can, which is already pretty good and good things will happen. Here are five benefits of being an entrepreneur. One, it helps you burn your savings. Two, steady upward hours. Three, promotes lack of holidays. Four, family and friends support. And five, it helps boost your social status downward. I hope this helps. I think I speak for everybody here when I say that we can all go behind Bloomberg's business. Great article here. And that we can say for sure that for the past 20 years, social media has become better. And we just feel wrong, okay? It's just a feeling we have. Yeah, and that's probably why people are ditching their phones and escaping social media and oh look another article man on people that are ditching their smartphones for dumb phones because setting a limit on your smartphone isn't enough anymore people have to protect themselves they buy a dumb phone with no social media on it's, everything is fine it's, we, we just feel wrong yeah that, that's it Now, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh my God, this article was released last week on Bloomberg's page. And since then, we've had this article proving that people have fed up. And then we got this article seeing that it's also concerning Gen Z. And now we have the New York Times making an article about the Surgeon General calling for a warning label on social media platforms, this is just great. I didn't expect this to be so easy, honestly, but uh, I guess it's just a feeling that social media and the internet has become more toxic. But all jokes aside, this is exactly why we're building the future of social networks with the interest of the people at the center of everything we do. I've been at it for the past two years and a half, and we need your help to build it up. If you like what you heard, join us, like, share, and subscribe. If it wasn't for you, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode.